Good morning. And a really quick one this morning talking about how to restore licenses on your PlayStation 4. And this might be an issue that you'll need to look into when you get a PlayStation 5 as well, because you could end up in a situation where you're trying to play games on your new PlayStation 5 that are backwards compatible. In other words, PlayStation 4 games, and you're finding that the licenses aren't working. The other situation you might find yourself in is if you're trying to game share. Now, I've had a few people ask me about this. They're trying to game share and the games aren't working. And uh, I've said, oh, restore licenses. So uh, they're saying to me, well, how do you go about doing that? So that's what I'm going to talk about here. Now, first things first, if you're going to restore licenses, you need to be in the account that bought the game. So... If you hit the PlayStation button, and if you look here, you've got various options. If you go down to power, and then across, and you select switch user, you can see on here I've got three different users. The user I want is Joe Chip, because Joe Chip is the person who bought the games. And as I say, it has to be the person who bought the games. Log on with that account and then go and restore licenses, and we'll go and do that now. So, then you go up, and you go across to settings, select settings, and I'm on there already, but what you would need to do is go down to account management. Once you've reached account management, select that, and then if you go all the way down, you can see at the bottom here, it says restore licenses. Click on that, and then all you have to do is hit restore, and it will go through the process of restoring your licenses. And as you can see here, I've got 327 licenses that it's going to restore. And we just wait for that to do. And this should, should <laughs> solve any problems you're running into. And if you're game sharing, if you do this, you should hopefully find that those games will then work for the person who's sharing on that PlayStation. Bear in mind, it has to be the primary PlayStation of the person who bought the game. And as I say, when you get your new PlayStation 5, you could log on and uh, go in and try and play a game. You might find this could be a problem then as well. And if it is, go in and restore licenses and that might solve your problem. It's not going to solve all problems, but it will solve a fair few of them and you should find yourself back up and running in no time at all. But uh, anyway, that's, that's it. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and uh, I'm happy to get into it with you. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to go and do what I usually do after a video and grab myself a cup of tea. And uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.